Previously on SNES Drunk Plays Final Fight. Oh, come on! Oh, no! I'm gonna- No! 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 <sighs> Alright, let's fucking go. God damn it. How embarrassing. Hey, yeah, I decided to come back for a fourth episode after that humiliating display in the last episode. And you better believe I'm picking fucking Cody this time. Listen, Cody. Hagger was like my son. I raised him and when a part of him, and when he died, a part of me died too. But now you're the one. You're the one that's gonna keep his spirit alive. You're the one that's gonna make sure he didn't die for nothing. But now, you're gonna have to go through hell. Worse than any nightmare you've ever dreamed. Worse than Balls 3D. But in the end, I know you'll be the one standing. That's uh, from Rocky 4, by the way. Hey, Rocky 4 and Final Fight, they aren't so different. Fuck you, 2 p God damn it. Anyway, yeah. It's it's so much easier with Cody. And we gotta go through this whole damn level all over again. Hey, but I got a free guy. So good. That's that's cool. Just make this barrel disintegrate by punching it. Yeah, that was a pretty bad choke job the last uh, episode. Didn't know if I was gonna come back and actually record a fourth episode. But this is going to be a long one, assuming I finish it, which is a big if. This could potentially go for... I don't know. Uh, get out of here. I don't know. It could be 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Not sure. I miss doing Cody's flying knee thing. It's good to have you back, Cody. All right, now I'm gonna be not stupid and not let the chandelier fall on me. See, we're gonna be smart this time. We're, we're not gonna, <laughs> we're not gonna inexplicably die when I have like, he, he's got like, all I need to do is hit him like four times and I've got like two lives and I somehow don't beat him. I'm gonna, that's gonna be stuck in my craw for a long time. I wonder if there's any notes on in this guide for the final boss. I seriously, I kind of doubt it. No. All it says about the uh, last stage, Uptown, let's get these guys out of the way here, is uh, Uptown has been a, on a downhill slide ever since the gang leaders claimed it as their headquarters. Make your way to the Mad Gear bigwigs and show them who's boss. So yeah. Not much else going on here yet. We gotta play through this whole level again. If you're if you're still with me, if you're still watching, <laughs> God bless you, cause I've put you through hell so far. I've put me through hell. Just terrible, terrible gameplay by me. And there's another good example of that right there. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's read some more uh, random stuff about. Uh, about uh, random ba fighters here. The main strength of the Mad Gears is their size. Every hood on the streets is part of this maniac gang. Their forces include fighters of all sizes and abilities. Gang leaders hang out in every sec section of the city. The king of the slums is a bully named Thrasher who calls on other creeps to do his dirty work. <laughs> Gotta love the phrasing there. <laughs> Oh, and it says the leader of Uptown Territory is currently in hiding. Keep fighting and you'll smoke out of you'll smoke out this mysterious madman. I know that's a turn of phrase, smoke out, it's but still, kind of an odd way of saying it. Yeah, the game encourages you to, to use Hagar, like, for storyline purposes. Because it's got a big paragraph here. These guys out of the way here, Billy and Sid. Fuck you. Nice. I love when I'm able to do that. That's another advantage of Cody is when you're in the mid punch and you flip around to do the uppercut on the other guy to, on the other side of you. It's always fun. Anyway, it says the big storyline description here is uh, talks only of Mike Hager pretty much. 
There was a time when Mike Hager spoke only with his fists. Yeah, I gotta get out of this mess here. Yeah, he spoke only with his fists, fighting fiercely against the criminal element of Metro City. Now Hagar is mayor of the city. Yeah, it's it's real obvious uh, career path there, real natural career path to go from street fighter to politician. But uh, you know they're one and the same, I guess. Womp womp. But uh, but when this police force and diplomatic actions can't stop the villains from causing havoc, he resorts to what he knows best: hand-to-hand -hand combat. And it just keeps going about Hagger, Hagger, blah, 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 Hagger. And then the last sentence it says, if Hagger can't do the job, then his younger, faster friend, Cody, damn it, I should be really pay paying attention to what I'm doing here instead of reading, but if Hagger can't do the job, then his younger, faster friend, Cody, will st step in and fighting. It's just his random friend. It's like, dude, his girlfriend got kidnapped. It's going to fuck shit up. Yeah, this game is all about Hagger, and Cody's just kind of there. And I can't imagine what, if Guy were in this game, like he is in uh, the arcade game, I can't imagine what that would be like. What what, what kind of thrown-in explanation they'd give him. Like, he was did jujitsu with Cody or something, I don't know. Whatever his martial arts expertise is in. Get rid of these guys here. Yeah, in classic Nintendo fashion, this guide gives you all sorts of detailed background, notes, all sorts of stuff on like the first four levels, but level five, the last level of the game, it leaves it kind of ambiguous. Kind of an, I guess they saw it as kind of an incentive, like, well, if you want to know about this part of the game, if you want to know about this level, you're going to have to get this far. Kind of cool. Like we too. Like we, this book will take you only so far, but you gotta. You're kind of on your own after that. It's kind of a nice touch. I've been talking more about the book, the game. I already played this level, and I got another free guy. See, at this point, I think I was at like. What was I? I was at like five guys left, or something like that, or six guys left with Hagar. Like I'm just not a Hagar guy. Nice. Don't need this barbecue yet. You just let it sit there. Let it sit there on the floor. <laughs> Till like my dog randomly comes up and gets it. Like, oh hey, what's this? Barbecue for me. Oh, I hate Cool. Barbecue and save some for later. Like only take half if you only need half. Just a random idea. I'm just spitballing over here. <laughs> Come on. I want the chandelier to fall on these guys. Uh, don't die yet. I want the chandelier to kill you. Or even better. There we go. Yes. That's awesome. Fuck you. Uh, I hate these guys. Good. I have a knife. Get extra stabby. I did not mean to throw the knife, but at least it killed somebody. Look out. Oh, that's bullshit. Bill Bull. I wonder how long, what the pr naming process of these guys was like. Was it really just like a bunch of people sitting in a room being like, well, guys, what should we name him? Uh, Bill Bull, Bull Bill. That, that implies he's fat, right? Like, what about Bill Bird? Or <laughs> All right, here we go. Just like last time. Let's carve up these idiots. Are those supposed to be windows back there, or is that really a guardrail and an open, kind of an open room there with no windows, and that puny little guardrail is supposed to keep you from falling to your death from the top of this penthouse here? Look out, shit. I hate those. They come from nowhere, and they, they're so fast. You, they get there before you can react. Eh, yeah, just what this Let's Play needs. More Andore. We got a fever, and the only prescription is more Andore. Damn it. I fucking hate this guy. There we go. Your prescription is a kick to the face. Yeah. 
Yeah, like I mentioned in the last video, the art, de the the decoration, the interior designer of this level, kind of went a little crazy. It's like they were doing freaking maybe smoking a little too much dope. I mean, what the hell kind of design is that on the wall? It's like, yeah, let's put this like gold braid here. Looks kind of like a guardrail, and then some random lines of red stuff. Then we'll stick these pictures in this hallway that nobody can get down. And then let's put these gold squares underneath all that. At least the colors kind of match. <laughs> can you tell it's like running out of shit to talk about here? It'd be cool if like that that whatever that's supposed to be on the right there, that statue, makes me think of Han Solo and Carbonite. It'd be cool if you're just randomly playing this game and Hey, there's Han Solo, how you doing? And you just keep going, you don't even free him. Oh no, not these guys. See, it kind of looks like it'd be Han Solo and Carbonite, maybe. Or maybe at least Peter Griffin and Carbonite. I don't really like Family Guy a whole lot, but I thought they did a really good job with the Star Wars spoofs. I liked the, uh... Other than their propensity to, like, let a gag keep going for way too long and, like, that becomes the gag. It's like, okay, that's just pure laziness at that point. That's pure, like, we need to save the animation budget and let's just waste time. We got 23 minutes to fill. But uh, the Star Wars, even if you really don't like Family Guy but you, don't, you do like Star Wars, I thought the, the Star Wars spoofs were pretty good. I'm a Simpsons guy myself. Simpsons and South Park. And I mean old... This guys, I think the series started to go downhill after the Who Shot Mr. Burns... Oh, that was bad luck. Who Shot Mr. Burns was kind of like the absolute peak for me. And season, season two... 79... They made Homer way too stupid, and it just wasn't funny anymore. It's like, okay, this is, they're running, out, very clearly running out of ideas, and I just stopped watching. I've only seen a handful of episodes since, like, 97, 98, and most of them were the, the, uh, hol the Halloween episodes. Oh, shit. I'm not gonna, ah! That was poorly done, or maybe it was cleverly done by Hollywood for once. Damn it, fuck. Falling apart here. I'm rambling about Simpsons and and Family Guy and all this shit. Maybe I should stick to Final Fight. What else did Capcom release at this point? They also at this came out in '91. This was a near launch title. It was within a few months of uh, the Super Nintendo coming out in the United States, which I think came out in August or September. Uh, let's see if I can. Yeah, there we go. I just wasn't going high enough last time, because I'm not very smart sometimes. There are power-ups hidden behind those pillars. They're just towards the middle. For whatever reason, I thought they were towards the bottom. Anyway, I think Capcom at this point also had UN Squadron. And UN Squadron was kind of an interesting case, because it was called Area 88 in Japan, and it, and it was very... It was much more obvious what the game was... About. It was like the artwork was like, okay, this is a shoot 'em up. It's a fighter, kind of a afterburner, kind of a, you know, flying, flying a fighter jet, basically, and you're shooting stuff. It's very clear what the implication was with the title and the cover art and all that. With UN Squadron, when they came out with that in 91, it, it was around the same time as Pilot Wings. So, me being a, a dumb kid, I was like, well, this game, UN Squadron is literally like, Okay, UN Squadron. I don't know what UN is as a kid. The squadron implies like, you know, formations and flying in a group and stuff like that. So, when UN Squadron, I saw it for rent and I saw the, the cover and the title, the cover is just like some guy in a cockpit, like in a helmet. And it's really like, well, that looks like another flight simulator. There's already pilot wings. Like, why would I care about this game? So I never gave that game a chance until much, much until years and years later. Um, so that was the other Capcom, or I think Super Ghouls and Ghosts was around back then too. 
And that was a game that was like way too hard for me as a kid. I couldn't get past the. F not only. Oh god. Dying again. This better. I better not choke again. But um, yeah, Super Ghouls and Guts. So not a good start for Capcom. Other than Final Fight, and you know, people were kind of disappointed in Final Fight too because it was, like I said in previous episodes of this Let's Play, it's it wasn't the arcade port. It was a little different. Personally, I don't think it matters. Nothing back here. Nope. Um. Eh. You missed me. Um. Yeah. The um. So the first three games. If if I'm missing something, mention it in the comments because I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Um, the first three games were Final Fight, uh, which some people are disappointed in. UN Squadron, which was... Uh, it's a great game, but it's it had a terrible title and a terrible cover. And Super Ghouls and Ghosts, which was one of the hardest games of the 90s. One of the hardest games ever, if you ask me. Um, and it took me years and years to get good at that game. So it's like... I'm not sure what came out after that, what would have come out after that. Mega Man X didn't come out until 93, I think, or 90, late 92 in Japan and then early 93 in North America, I think. There we go. Alright, I'm close to the boss and I have five guys, well actually six guys because my zero. It's time to stop fucking around, it's time to beat this fucking game. It's time to stop rambling about other crap. Let's go. Let's roll, boys. Pick up away, toys. Here we go. Fuck you, Belger. Belger. Oh, no. Was I hitting her on accident? Oh, shit. That's no good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, you know, collateral damage and all that. Actually, that's really messed up that you can hit a woman in a freaking Nintendo game. I think, what's the other, there's another Nintendo game where you, you shoot, I think it's Total Recall, where you shoot your wife. An angry video game nerd made a joke about that. Okay, come on. See, at least with, oh, damn it. At least with uh, Cody, I can block his, uh, since with, with the power of the ASCII pad, ASCII pad, ASCII pad. That pad is assy. Um, with that, I can block his arrows sometimes, anyway. God, I hate that they trot Andore out here at the end. It's like, dude, I don't need a mini boss in here. Along with a freaking final boss in the game. That's ridiculous. All right, I got him trapped just like last time, and he shot himself out just like last time. All right, here we go. Get out of the way. Oh, God. See, that's why he's there. No choking this time. Get up, get out of my freaking life, Andore. You're done. Oh, not Billy. God. Get these other guys out of here. Jesus. Ah, oh, this sucks. There we go. Little luck there. Managed to hit him. I will not fail. <laughs> I swear to God, if this has to go to a part five, I'm just gonna quit doing Let's Plays. Do I have him trapped again? I think I do. Kind of cheap, but you know what? I don't care at this point. The point of this point of Let's Plays, in my opinion, is to show off the game, do some commentary with some basic, tr you know, some random facts about the game, your personal experience about the game. Boy, I'm really, I'm just sitting here. <laughs> it's not to like show, like, look how awesome I am or any of that kind of shit, because clearly I'm not. I think I've made that pretty obvious by now. But it's just, it's entertainment. Oh yeah, you, he zooms over there because you're supposed to kick him out of the window. Or punch him through the window. Oh, fuck. Don't let this happen again. Ah! Fuck you! God damn it. Oh, no, please, no, no. Not again. Not again! Oh my god, this better not happen again. Holy shit, are you kidding me? Yeah! <laughs> 
<laughs> and I earned a free guy at the end. Oh my god, talk about freaking down to the wire. I had no life left. Wow, I suck, but hey. Awesome. <laughs> oh, father. I was so scared. Oh, I'm sorry. Or, I'm so glad to see they didn't hurt you. Except for, you know, Cody punching the shit out of you for a second. I thought I'd lost you. Like I lost your mother. What, your your mother or his wife got kidnapped too? What is he, Cyan from frickin' Final Fantasy VI? I love you, father. Yeah, meanwhile, Cody is just like, fuck all this. I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna go take a dip in the pool. Anyway, that's the end of Final Fight. There you go. We got the credits rolling. We got people that insist on being referred to by one name for some reason. They credit the arcade people. That's cool. Of course they do. It's an arcade port. Big shout out to SY, whose name didn't want to... Like, you know what? Use my initials, but don't use my full name. Okay, thanks. Does that say Poopin over there? Real classy Final Fight. Final Fight's... I gotta hit it to gym. I gotta do some lifting. Cody! Uh, awkward. Oh. Where are you going? Gotta go lift. How can you just walk away? Now! <laughs> I want to stay here with you, Jessica, but I can't. I wonder what Cody would say. I get the impression Cody would sound like a total dude bra. Dude, not, well, evil still stalks the streets, brah. Oh, Cody. And she blows him. <laughs> well, that might be a little too adult for the Super Nintendo. But anyway, yeah. I got this high score. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the freaking game right there. I think it's just three, just initials. So I'll just D, since I just gave my girlfriend the D there at the end. That's your ending to Final Fight. So I want to thank y'all for watching. Thanks for uh, stopping by. And uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks. Have a good day. D. Give it up for the D.